group. That's where you're going to watch yourself. That's where you can watch the live feeds. And that's where you can watch all the, the fun and games and all the silliness. So, yeah, it's a game show. Your job, though, again, is to go inside the manor with positive cards. You want at least 10, if at all possible. This haunted house in the North County that many believe is the most terrifying in the entire country. We first told you about this haunted house last Friday at 11 o'clock. Well, it's new tonight. The owner tells 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty that he is now getting death threats about this whole thing. And now, Dan, we understand the FBI may be involved. You know, Steve, look around. It looks like a normal neighborhood, doesn't it? Uh, driving through here, you would never imagine that a few nights a week, year round, this happens here. Take a look. <laughs> Hard to believe this video was shot inside a seemingly normal Rancho Pena Skeeter's home by a seemingly normal guy. The reality of it is, it's all smoke and mirrors. Russ McKaney runs McKaney Manor out of his house. This stuff is catered to the most hardcore haunters out there, if you can't tell. Just two people go through a night for eight hours of this, though no one's ever lasted that long. It's developed an international cult following with a waiting list of more than 20,000 people. We're just this little independent little attraction that we're doing just for the fun of it, and it became worldwide, and I don't know how. Or quite how to deal with his newly found fame and the people who disagree with this sort of entertainment. Oh, we get death threats on a daily basis, serious death threats. McKamey says he gets calls, emails, and hackers trying to stop this, threatening to kill them and blow up the house, among other things. The police are involved, the FBI is involved now. I mean, these are just, it's crazy. Especially crazy because everyone working for him does it for free, and McKamey doesn't make a dime. <laughs> McKaney uh, loves Greyhounds, so to get in, all it costs you is a donation of dog food. He says they have made a few changes because of these death threats, a couple precautions in place, but they don't plan to slow down. Reporting live tonight, Dan Haggerty, 10 News. I find If you have 10 cards going into the manor, you'll do well. Because it's really difficult to lose 10 fail cards once you get inside. The manor is very mental, like I said, and when you're inside the real show, the physicality part of it ends. There's not much physicality at all. It's gonna all be about the mental. You are gonna recognize that name. I really thought that it was a above them to trivialize what I said in my previous video and then bring it to a group of hostile and aggressive people as if it were just a joke, thinking they'd know better than that. But of course, I guess I overestimated quite a bit. I don't want to associate with this person anymore because whether they would want to admit it or not, what they did seriously fucked up my day. I had 400 different people coming into my inbox threatening to hurt me threatening to hurt my fiance and threatening to hurt my family my family lives on the memory attention to detail all that good stuff if you got a good handle on that you'll do well but every time you fail an activity a task a stunt you'll lose a fail card or sometimes we have it set up to where you'll gain or lose five fail cards per missed endeavor Again, you need to gain. You need to be on the positive. Okay? And uh, it's really pretty simple. 
just a matter of basic math. You need to have more than what you're losing and you'll be okay. Now, once you lose all of your fail cards, you now have to do what we call a hallelujah breaker. Yeah, hallelujah breaker. That sounds so fun, right? But what happens with a hallelujah breaker is real simple. If you cannot complete that hallelujah breaker, it's game over. You lose. You lose all the money. You lose the show. Now, that does not mean I'll automatically take you out of the tour. If you want to continue on just because it's fun and you want to... Uh, yeah. My name is Lala Camellia Mesbahi Kazikowski. I came all the way here from New Boston, Michigan. Right? Right. Right. It's really ironic and kind of pathetic that after I go public and say I've been getting death threats from the people who work in the employ of this place, this guy goes out and says exactly the same thing. Why do I have such a big problem with this place? None of the footage you saw in that article is representative of what actually goes on in this event. This is more representative of what people go through. You might want to brace yourself, it's pretty harsh. <laughs> Hold it in, I'm tired of you throwing up in my room. You understand, get your arms up higher. This is nothing. Aren't you glad you came in, Steve? Get your head. I'm talking to you, Steve. Aren't you glad you're here, Steve? Aren't you glad it's only going to four and a half hours? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad, Ryan? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Steve, I'm scared. Yeah. You know, we haven't started yet. We haven't started yet. We haven't started yet. We haven't started yet. Why are you crying? And if you think that's bad, check this little gem out. Unfortunately, this clip did not come equipped with audio, but essentially, there's a section of the tour where they simulate waterboarding. Guantanamo Bay can't even get away with this. Let me play that for you one more time. You cannot design a waiver or contractual agreement that would protect you in court for treating people this way at all you can't abuse people in this manner and say well they signed up for it and think that will hold up in a court of law unless you're an idiot of the highest order which I own oh, if you really don't believe me that people are getting seriously injured remember those bearded guys I put in the video earlier where they were puking on each other the next screenshot shows a little bit of the aftermath of what they went through while they were posting about it in the reservations group for this. One of them popped a blood vessel in his fucking eye. That's not cool. So what can be done about this place? Uh, uh. My name is Taryn Neal, and I came all the way from Indianapolis, Indiana, just to tell Russ that the McCamey Manor ate my lunch, took my milk money, and kicked my butt not once but twice in one day and you really don't want to do this my name's eric i came from tech walks at texas to do what to show mckinney manor how rough and tough texas boys are right yes say it to show mckinney manor how rough and tough texas boys are you lied to me didn't you you're not rough and tough at all are you yeah, yeah. get your hand down you're not rough and tough one single bit are you Eric. Yeah. Say it. I'm not rough and tough. Kimmy Manor did what? Ate your lunch, took your milk money. Say it, Eric. Ate my lunch, took my milk money. And kicked your what? Kicked my butt. And you what? You what? Do you quit? I quit. Then you say it. Say it, Eric. I quit. My name is Thomas Holmes. I'm from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I'm not as tough as I thought I was. In fact, I'm a big, massive baby. Russ McCamey and Mc... McCamey Manor stole my lunch, took my milk money, kicked my butt, and I quit before I even got done with the contract signing. Y'all do not want to do this. My name is Dominique Saltler. I came all the way from Beaumont, California to tell Russ Holly that McCamey Manor kicked my ass and I quit. For a second time. For a second time. My name is Brian Vanover. I traveled all the way from Tampa, Florida for the second time, thinking it was gonna be better in the summer. And to be honest, for my 
for the way I am right now, I don't know if the seasons or anything would help. I really don't. But everybody has to experience it for themselves. But today, McKinney Manor wiped me out. I am physically toasted. Mentally, I'm drained because it's a long day. It's a lot, it's a lot going on, guys. And uh, it's an experience of a lifetime. It's a blast. But today, today I fell short.